How talented are you at chess? Can you achieve and convert winning positions? What we're about to look at is a real life position from a game that I actually played over the board this past weekend. In 60 seconds or less, we're gonna put to the test your chess talent. Let's get straight into it. Take a look at this position. One thing you can see right off the bat is that white is up a pawn. Now it is true that these pawns are doubled, but the double pawns open up the G file, exposing the king. Spoiler alert, this position is winning in many different ways. But what we're gonna test is how would you win this position? Now take 30 seconds, look at this position, and recommend a move. All right, what was the move that you recommended? Did you sacrifice the rook? If you sacrifice the rook, this is what I played, and unfortunately, it's not really that great of a move. This move does crack open black's king, but it does so at the expense of a pretty decent amount of material. Black can actually just take back here, and it's about plus one for white. That's not really gonna cut it in terms of a position like this. Did you play bishop takes h7? Well, this move is okay. It does sacrifice some material, and it opens up black's king, but it's actually not the progression forward that wins the game on the spot. The king takes back, you do have a check with the queen, but it's a little bit roundabout in terms of how to actually convert this position. There are two better moves. If you played this variation, you do have some chess talent actually. Good on you. If you played knight h5, this is an exclam move. This move is absolutely great. The recommended move here from black is actually to sacrifice the queen with g6, giving up this fork of the queen, the king, and the rook doing so to avoid the pressure on the g-file. If you recommended this move, you have a lot of chess talent. This is actually what my grandmaster coach recommended as the best move in the position. But there's an even better move. If you recommended rook c5, you don't just have a ton of potential, you are a computer. What this move does is it adds even more firepower to the g-file, and it wins a tempo at the same time on the bishop. That's sort of an afterthought in this position. So if black were to save his bishop, you bring the rook over to g5 and you have an unstoppable attack. Actually, the computer recommends the best move here is just to take the knight, but black is not gonna survive very long here. Rook takes g7. If the king goes to h8, it's checkmate. If the king goes to f8, you have bishop to c4, adding another attacker to the very, very tender f7 square. Black has to sacrifice a rook, and after bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes b7, and there is no way to stop yourself from losing a ton of material and the game. The rook is under attack, the f7 square is under attack, you're threatening to play rook g8, and there's absolutely no more hope for black. So how much chess talent do you have? Are you like me, where you just sacrifice material just hoping that something will work? Are you a bit more thoughtful? Did you sacrifice material to break open the king, but not put your chips all in? Do you have GM talent? Did you play knight h5? Or are you a computer? Did you find rook c5? Let me know in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want more videos like this or just want to support, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll catch y'all soon.